achievement for ploughing. Not that I believe that a, car, a subsoiler would count as a plough either as far as achievements are concerned if it was implemented. Seeders and planters count regardless. Fertilisers count regardless. But cultivators are rather particular. So we're probably going to have the disc harrow just because it's big and kind of handy. But um, also the way the oak field's set up because it is you know, some huge fields and some small fields and some fields with very tight entrances. We are going to have to have a range of you know, large equipment for the large fields and smaller equipment for getting into fields with gates and uh, some of the small fields. So I just have to make sure that uh, the small cultivator is an actual cultivator when it comes to uh, qualifying for the achievement. Outside of that, I think the only other things I've got to worry about are breeding chickens, pigs, and uh, sheep, and cows. Oh, this is fun. So, how are we doing? 33%, 34%. The other thing about this tractor is that cab, not only is it reversible, it's the same cab that's on the harvesters, both the regular harvesters and the uh, forage harvesters. So it's a huge panoramic field of view. And it's really designed for jobs like this one. You can also use it on a mower system like this because it gives you over the top view of whatever's attached to that technically rear hitch. So we will be featuring one of these in the next series, possibly stepping up to a 5,000. Depends on the equipment I end up buying. <coughs> and how strenuous working the, uh, the hills on Oak Field is. My goal is to start with an Axiom 940 and uh, work some fields and then figure out how adequate that system is and then considerations for everything else from there. I think I'll only need two smaller tractors because uh, keep going. there's only two yards I intend to work on that map. I'll supplement them with a couple of mid sized tractors, not just. Yeah. It's only recently I found that. The fact that we've only got the single Valtra T in the 200 horsepower range that I'm kind of lacking. If 
I were to expand my tractor fleet, the next tractor on this map would be another probably 225 to 275 horsepower tractor. Just to give me a little more flexibility in that range. I'm also thinking that with those, if I if I bought those six fields in the next year, I would probably also need um, another large. Um, I probably wouldn't go with an auger wagon again. I'd probably go with a large tipper. Sell the auger wagon, get another two large tippers because the silos on this farm are not conducive to using auger wagons. And I don't do a, a field side dump with that like you would in America. So the fields don't really warrant it. But I would then need... I'd end up with both of the Axions running... Uh, um, is it? Transporting grain off fields to the silos and uh, you know, two large harvesters being serviced by two tractors. I can't do that on my own, I don't think. Might be possible, but it's We're about the limits of manageability. But that would mean I can't then plow, cultivate, and or seed, or plow and or cultivate seed and everything else that I do at the same time that I'm harvesting, because I would then only have one large tractor left over. So it would need a second large tractor. Carting, that was what I was thinking. So I'd have two large tractors carting. have to go and look up course play 17 for that so that I could set up a um, an unload and cart for each of the carting tractors on each field. The other way to make it manageable would be to switch to a seven, not a seven, a nine day season. Because that would allow me to, uh, I mean, I'm only playing times one most of the time on this map. But uh, a nine day season gives me more hours in which to complete all of the tasks I have to do. Okay, that's up to 42% at 7 o'clock. I really don't want to spend another hour doing this, guys. That's probably the thing I'm going to have to do.
Oops. I need to lift that blade when I reverse, or we end up with uh, chaff all over the BGA. Okay. Yeah. Drop that like that. Okay, left. How's that look? That's actually fairly respectable. Let's go do the next one. little bit of concentration to get this done. I might spend at least part of January having some extended first looks at some maps. See what I feel about them. know when I actually do a drive-through whether that's uh, done what I want it to do. Because if I mess it up too much what ends up happening is we end up with a huge ridge the front end. And uh, the tractor grinds out, grounds out before uh, we can clear it. Okay, that's potentially good enough. We'll run around the back and do the same thing there.
for most of these bunkers when I was doing the initial drop. Um, I was trying to keep the truck towards the middle of the uh, bunker. Yeah, there you go. That's messed up. Irrevocably stuck. That's awkward. Okay, so that's that one pushed in all the way. This one looks like it's having issues too. Oops, lift up the blade or you end up dragging it all out. get this compacted to about 50% each. Well, we'll skip the clock through. Actually, we can probably go to sleep now since it's dark. Eight o'clock's the earliest when the sun's still up. I think as... Uh, oh, that's hard work. Um, think as the nights draw in, you can actually sleep as soon as it gets dark. So somewhere around midwinter, you're talking six o'clock, five o'clock. Okay, how are we doing here? This one will be 46 maybe? Nope, 45. Seven. So I'm not dropping anything else in the middle. The middle one is way too full. Or way too rough to get the truck up and down it. Should I say... I think that one similarly. We'll just get these compacted and covered. 47 Rolls up to 48 and very rough and well that's a bit awkward Well, that 
that's very awkward. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yeah. No way I'll get the truck into this one. So we're not going to even try. So I'll definitely put some more in this one. Probably finish that field out into this one actually. And this is the uh, problematic one. Go, 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 keep going, keep going. Okay, that one's up to 50. So one's at 50. This one is at 47. Hopefully 49 by the time we head back. So as soon as the last one's at 50, Park this up. Good grief, I'm already halfway through a tank of diesel again. Oh. Yeah, that uh, ridge is causing us to ground out the uh, leveller. Pushing chaff back into the open BGA area. Okay, how are we doing here? This one's at 49. So, hopefully, one more pass. I'll be at 50. Go 50, 50, 50, 50. Yay, 50. Okay, so that one's done. To 50. This one is already 50 and this one is 49 go 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 come on be 50 oh. okay i'm gonna have to do them all again Fifty, right. So that one is where I want it to be for the end of today. I'll do the other three just because. And we'll do the last one. Lights off, engines off. What's everybody else doing? Y'all just sitting there. Okay. Oops, no, I don't want to be in that tractor. I want to get out of that tractor. Skip night, yay, morning. Yeah, see, dawn is 8.30. Morning is six o'clock. Six o'clock is still going to be very, very dark. But I kind of want all the day to do stuff again. So milk, five thousand four hundred. Vehicle running costs fifty nine hundred. So getting to the point in the year where we can't see, or we can't cover the cost of our equipment. That is really, really nearly done. That's good. So, since it's night time, 
Uh, I'm going to grab a drink and then I'll be back and then we'll do some more compacting. Oh. this thing again. I don't want to take the blade off because it helps if I get stuck. And if anything, I would consider putting another blade on the black back of this. Actually. Ouch. do is try and knock that ridge down a bit. adjust it downwards, in fact below the level of the wheels to round off the top of that ridge. And I have to lift it up as the back wheel comes up. And we end up with a dip on the other side of the ridge. Now I should be able to push this along. Mostly okay. But you're constantly re angling that blade. Okay, that's as high as it goes, and I have got myself wedged in. down number one and we'll come back up oh jeez seriously that's out the way right okay Let's see if we can power through here There's a. Well, you've got the ridge, you've also got a trough right behind it. And that 
that's done. Okay, the blade is high enough that it's not going to interfere with anything except the walls of the uh, bunker. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to uh, just driving through. Here I am, just 